With the 2023 Christmas event, the Frostbuster has returned as a limited time game pass and received a huge rework, completely changing how it attacks and greatly buffing its DPS installing. In this video, I'll be looking at all the stat changes, values, and uses of the Frostbuster and giving my opinion on how good it is. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get into it. It used to cost 450 cash to place, though one damage at a fire rate of 3.008, froze enemies for 0.35 seconds, had 10 range and 0.33 DPS. And now costs 850 cash, deals 2 damage, has a fire rate of 0.858, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, freezes for 0.5 seconds, can hit 3 enemies, has 12 range, and 2.33 DPS. Level 1 used to cost a total of 800 cash, dealt 1 damage, had a fire rate of 3.008, froze for 0.35 seconds, had 13 range, and 0.33 DPS. And now costs a total of 1,150 cash, deals 2 damage, has a fire rate of 0.758, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, freezes for 0.5, can hit 3 enemies, has 12 range, and 2.64 DPS. It also gets hidden detection. Level 2 used to cost a total of 1,400 cash, Dealt 5 damage, had a fire rate of 3.008, froze for 0.35 seconds, had 14 range and 1.66 DPS. And now costs a total of 2,100 cash, deals 4 damage, has a fire rate of 0.758, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, freezes for 0.5 seconds, can hit 4 enemies, has 14 range and 5.28 DPS. Level 3 used to cost a total of 2,900 cash, deals 15 damage, had a fire rate of 1.508, froze for 0.35 seconds, had 14 range and 9.95 DPS. And now costs a total of 5,600 cash, deals 10 damage, has a fire rate a 0.758, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, freezes for 0.75, can hit 5 enemies, has 16 range and 13.19 DPS. Level 4 used to cost a total of 5,900 cash, dealt 18 damage, had a fire rate of 1.508, froze for 0.7 seconds, at 14 range and 11.94 DPS. And now costs a total of 15,600 cash, dealt 35 damage, has a fire rate of 1.508, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, freezes for 1.25, can hit 7 enemies, has 22 range and 23.21 DPS. The current Frost Blaster only goes up to level 4 but the previous levels used to go up to level 5. Max level used to cost a total of 12,400 cash, dealt 35 damage, had a fire rate of 1.508, froze for 0.7 seconds, had 18 range and 23.21 DPS. The two main changes that the Frostbuster received are its DPS installing. Let's first take a look at its DPS. Surprisingly, it still has the same single target DPS as before, being 23.21. Not only does that mean it still sucks against high health bosses, its value actually went down from 1.72 DPS per 1k spent to 1.49. However, this is made up by the fact that it can now hit 7 enemies at max level. While it is pretty rare for it to hit this max amount, that gives it a potential DPS of 162.47 and a value of 10.41. That is a huge improvement, making its DPS and value much better than it was before. But arguably the biggest buff was to its stalling capabilities. Not only does it freeze enemies for 1.25 seconds instead of 0.7, they also remain slowed for 1.5 seconds. Because its fire rate is pretty much 1.5, enemies will be almost permanently stunned. They'll only be unfrozen for 0.25 seconds and during that time, they'll also be slowed, meaning they will hardly move forward. Then, they get refrozen and the cycle continues. This, paired with the fact that it can freeze up to 7 enemies at a time, makes the Frost Blaster arguably the best stalling tower in the game. Since you can place 10 of them, crowds of enemies really don't stand a chance. This coupled with it having hidden detection makes the Frost Blaster a fantastic tower. I'm going to rank it as a low S tier, and if you have the Robux needed, I would highly recommend purchasing it. But, let me know how you would rank it in the comments below. Also, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. I'll see you guys in the next video.